the greatest Venetian artist of the 16th century, Tiziano Vicelli or Vicelio. He is known in English as Titian. He was an Italian Venetian painter during the Renaissance and was considered the most important member of the 16th century Venetian school. During his long career, he experimented with many different styles of painting that embodied the development of art during his time. In this video, we will explain several of his great works. We call them the Angels of Titian. Number 9, Venus Rising from the Sea. Venus, Anodiomene, the Greek Venus rising from the sea, is a circa 1520 oil painting by Titian, depicting Venus rising from the sea and wringing her hair. Titian's Venus fills the canvas. The small shell floating on the water identifies the beautiful nude female as the goddess of love. The ancient Greek poet Hesiod described how Venus was born fully grown from the sea and blown to the shore on a scallop shell. It is smaller than usual in the birth of Venus scenes, such as Botticelli's, and is just intended to identify the subject rather than be a boat-like vessel for Venus, as in Sandro Botticelli's The Birth of Venus and other depictions. The ringing of her hair is a direct imitation of Apelles' lost masterwork of the same title. Titian deliberately included this detail to prove that he could rival the art of antiquity in which the goddess was also washing her hair, a fact mentioned in Pliny's Natural History. The painting is in exceptionally fine condition and is now at the Scottish National Gallery in Edinburgh. Number 8, Diana and Callisto. Diana and Callisto was a painting completed by Titian between 1556 and 1559. It portrays the moment in which the goddess Diana discovers that her maid Callisto has become pregnant by Jupiter. By the National Gallery and the Scottish National Gallery for 45 million pounds in March 2012. Along with its companion painting, Diana and Acteon, it is displayed on an alternating basis between London and Edinburgh. There is a later version by Titian and his workshop in the Kunsthistorisches Museum in Vienna. Callisto was Diana's, the virgin goddess of the hunt, favorite maid. Her beauty aroused the attention of Jupiter king of the gods, who seduced her by disguising himself as Diana. Nine months later, Callisto's pregnancy was discovered when she was forced by her suspicious companions to strip and bathe after hunting. Titian chose to paint the moment of her humiliating exposure and banishment from Diana's chaste entourage. Diana and Callisto is part of a series of seven famous canvases, the poesies depicting mythological scenes from Ovid's Metamorphosis painted for Philip II of Spain after Maximilian II, the Holy Roman Emperor had declined Titian's offer to paint them for him. The work remained in the Spanish royal collection until 1704, when King Philip V gave it to the French ambassador. Number 7, Venus and Musician. Titian and his workshop produced six known versions of Venus and Musician, 
which may be known by various other titles specifying the elements, such as Venus with an organist, Venus with a lute player, and so on. Venus and Musician, or Venus with an organist and a dog, circa 1550, is at the Prado Museum. Venus with Lute Player and Cupid, circa 1555 to 1565, is at the Fitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge. Venus with Organist, Dog and Cupid, is at the Gamalde Gallery in Berlin. Venus and Cupid with Dog and Partridge was mostly painted in Titian's workshop. Circa 1555 is at the Uffizi. Venus and the Lute Player is at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. Venus with Organist and Cupid, circa 1550, is on exhibit at the Gamalde Gallery in Berlin. In all the versions, Venus's bed appears to be set in a loggia or against a large open window with a low stone wall or parapet. Venus is shown at full length reclining on pillows. The musician sits on the end of the bed with his back to her, but his head is turned so he can see her. By contrast, she looks away to the right. He wears contemporary 16th century dress, as do any small figures in the landscape backgrounds, and has a sword or dagger attached to his belt. Number six, Dane and the Shower of Gold. Titian and his workshop made at least six versions of the same composition showing Dane or Dane and the Shower of Gold painted between 1544 and the 1560s. The scene is based on the mythological princess Dane as recounted by the Roman poet Ovid and Boccaccio. Dane was isolated in a bronze tower following a prophecy that her firstborn would eventually kill her father. Although aware of the consequences, Dane was seduced and became pregnant by Zeus, or in Roman mythology, Jupiter. He was inflamed by lust and descended from Mount Olympus to seduce her in the form of a shower of gold. Though the composition, especially the main figure, is essentially the same, the six other versions vary considerably. Dane, from 1544 to 1546, the original version is in Naples at the National Museum of Capodimonte. Dane, part of the Wellington Collection in London, it is now agreed that this version was the one sent to Philip II of Spain. Dane with nursemaid, or Dane receiving the golden rain, was completed in the 1560s and is currently at the Museo del Prado in Madrid. Dane completed between 1553 to 1554 is at the Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg. Here the figures are closer together and Jupiter's face can be seen in the cloud. Dane, completed in 1564, is at the Kunstherisches Museum in Vienna. The large input from Titian's workshop is evident by the heavier treatment of Dane's skin tone and body as well as the hanging drapery. Dane, circa 1554, 
has been permanently loaned to the Art Institute in Chicago from the Barker Welfare Foundation in New York. Titian's paintings are on display at the Museo del Prado. First viewing from left to right is Dane and the Shower of Gold, the Worship of Venus, Bacchanal of the Andrians, and Venus and Adonis. That's all we have time for in part one, but be sure to visit part two of Angels of Titian to view more amazing paintings and learn more about Titian. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by selecting the subscribe button below. We would appreciate a thumbs up. Also, please feel free to share the video on your preferred social media service. We are super excited about you watching our video and look forward to your continued support. It means the world to us. See you in the following video.